teachers have read it. What was the best excuse for being late? That turned out to be true. I was the kid. Physics. 11th grade. The day prior to this day, my neighbor passed away, and her son was a friend of mine, and also in this class. Terribly long story, but it was a suicide by hanging, and I was the one who found her. I had nightmares all night, and skipped the first half of school the next day. When my physics teacher saw me later, she asked where I was that morning. Before I could explain, she said that friend was looking for you and concerned. He seemed more worried than he should have been and was a little upset about you not being there. The guy's mom died, but he still went to class, and didn't tell anyone but was worried about me. I couldn't tell her what had happened at that point, so I just said I overslept. I had a student whose father had died, and had not done any homework or prep for the geography class. From what I heard the teacher scolded him for not doing so, but the student didn't want to say anything presumably sensitive issue, so his best friend shouted at the teacher don't you have any shame. His father died last night and the teacher said I don't care, there was an audible gasp, and I was in the next room. Needless to say, that teacher is no longer employed here. My sophomore year in high school, dad died, I missed a week of school. When I got back, I tried to turn in my English assignment, that was due the week I was out. Teacher won't accept it said it was late. I told her my father had just died, and that's why I was out. She said, I know, but it's still late. Went home told my mother. The next day, the principal, my guidance counselor and the superintendent had all contacted my teacher, to rip her a new one. She had to accept my assignment. She was salty about that the rest of the year. She had to take her sister to school and drive her mom to rehab. She was always late to class because her mom just wanted to sleep in. Problem was if the mom was late or did not go she would have violated her probation and gone to prison. I never marked her late. If she missed anything important she could come in at lunch or after school to make it up. My auto teacher let me practice removing and adding the tires on his vehicle. The next morning it was about 20 minutes into first period, and no sign of him. He comes running into the classroom out of breath and his hair is all messed up. He points at me and says you. What is a torque wrench used for? I respond with I don't know. He says I know you don't know. Turns out one of his tires came off, while driving down the highway student here, I headed into school early to get some studying done in the library before my night class. I was one exit away when I was caught in a three car accident. Most of the expressway afterwards was gridlock with only one lane left up I did eventually make it into my lab class 15 minutes late, with a few scrapes and bruises. My professor's reaction was simply oh that was you. Not a student, but one of my teaching assistants, when I ran a preschool in West Philly. Sorry I missed yesterday, my friend shot my mom. Naturally, I'm a little speechless. Oh no it's okay, he was aiming for someone else. I was one of about 20 kids who were late to school. We showed up at the school office as a group, and when questioned why we were late, we said the school bus blew up. They questioned so the engine blew up the kids know, the whole bus, in flames. It blew up there was much conference between the teachers, all of them thinking we embellished the story. Next thing you know, one of the admin staff has the news website open. Very obvious image of an entire bus on fire with a bunch of kids in our school uniform standing in front of it. Our late slip for class read school bus blew up. Told me he got pulled over by the cops for wobbly driving on his bike, and they thought he was drunk. Turned out he was just dodging all the slugs on the street. A guy in my college class missed class one day. The next day he came in with his eye covered up and medical paperwork in hand. Apparently he got pecked in the eye by a chick. School sporting event. Kid on our team was late because someone stole his windshield wipers and it was snowing out. Kept having to pull over to the side of the road and wipe off his windshield. After 9 over 11, my small town high school received bomb threats every week for two months and they decided to make us attend school on a Saturday. Myself and about 5 others showed up for our classes, and every teacher said something like I can't wait for the excuses on Monday. Most of the excuses were something along the lines of family plans or whatnot, but one kid was made read his dad's note aloud to the class, because our first period teacher thought it was hilarious. 
in the most down south accent you can imagine. It went something like my son ain't too smart, but he knows you ain't supposed to get punished for someone else being a dumbass. Bought him a six pack, so he was drunk. Y'all can frick off. I wish we had smartphones to record back then, so I could share it. I'm not the teacher, but we were told that he had a paramedic student who on their way to write their final exam rolled their car into a creek, picked up whatever books they had out of their car, and ran the rest of the way to class. Obviously got there late and in tears. You better believe they had a different exam date. When I was student teaching, I was late because there was bunch chickens in the middle of the road. They won't move at all. This is in the middle of a city of 200,000 people. Freaking chickens. I finally get to school and profusely apologize to my mentor teacher and I told her why I was late thinking it sounded ridiculous. She said, yeah, those chickens are freaking assholes, they surrounded my car in the McDonald's parking lot last year. Don't worry about it. Former student here. Sorry, boss, my stepdad tried to kill us last night and I had to deal with the cops. Professor just looked at me for a moment and said, Dude, do you want to like, go grab a drink, and talk about this after class, man, my English prof was a bro, when I was in college. I had a 6 year old turn up late to her lesson, and blurt out sorry I was late, I had to color in a bunny, seems fair. In high school I biked to class, one day I hit a rock, and ate absolute shoot. I obviously got to class late. Before I could say a word my teacher stopped class and said thank you for finally joining us. Why are you so late? I raised my heavily bloodied hands and elbows. It must have looked bad because she audibly gasped and rushed me to the school nurse apologizing nonstop the entire way. Edit. My B. I'm not a teacher. MTV paid me $50 to fill my backpack with cement and carry it around for the day. I accepted that excuse. Student later regretted it, as a replacement backpack and college textbooks far exceeded $50. But he got his moment of fame and I didn't penalize him for his tardy. Gotta live a little. Edit. Someone found a newspaper article on this. Turns out it was $200. He earned $100 for the first day, and $100 when he returned the next day. I remembered $50, but it was 19 years ago. So ha, huh, I was right to believe him. He still lost all his stuff thanks cement, and I remember him telling me it wasn't worth it. And edit, typo. In my hometown, if you walked into anywhere late, and said the phrase sorry, grain train you were never challenged. It was extremely common for 50 plus carriage trains, to run through the middle of town. Not teacher, but pupil. I was in a car crash on my way to school. About 5 cars involved, because some jerk decided to overtake us, since we slowed down coming to a turn. So a trip to the hospital to get checked, and then school 3 hours late. I had small cuts all over my face from glass flying everywhere, and had a really sore shoulder, but my teachers wouldn't believe me until police showed up, because they forgot to get a statement from me. Apparently some of the other involved people died amd the jerk got 8 years in prison. Bear on the backyard. No access gate. Animal control had to trank it from the room and drag it through the house. Made the news. Got to retake the test timest after sending her the news article. Impinka fair-skinned student age 10 went with a friend to the Harley festival at a nearby Hindu temple where she was covered with red powder and dyed bright red from head to toe. Her mother, another teacher at the school, had made her sit for hours in the bathtub to soak it off, but even after another round of early morning shower scrubbing, she arrived at school a pleasant shade of pink. Technically, she wasn't late, but she stayed in her mother's classroom until the bell rang. I had a chemistry professor show up about 15 minutes late, just when people were about to leave, he shows up and explains that he was just in a car accident, his car had been in a rollover, and he still showed up. He said he was okay. He drove a Volvo. I was the student. My neighbor had a really social goat, and she figured out how to escape her pen, in order to come over and hang out. She escaped and followed me to the bus stop, and when the bus came, she tried to follow me onto it. I couldn't actually get on the bus without her being right behind me, so I had to get off, bring her home, and call my dad to bring me to school. 
Edit. Spelling. My best friend and I used to roller skate to school, and one day we both forgot to put our shoes in our backpacks. So we skated to the vice principal's office, and got to skip first period, to go home for shoes. We stopped at Taco Bell on the way back for breakfast, because we figured we were already excused. UK. A student cold and submit an assignment on time as the wife, I was down on the megabus. Edit. Cheers for all the love and I'll be sure to tell the student his megabus mishap is relatable across the globe. We had an exam in my class and the teacher got a message from a student saying that he was going to be late because his car had a flat tire the student was known to party. The teacher didn't think it could be true, so as a joke the teacher asked him to bring the tire back. He brought the flat tire back in the middle of the exam. Needless to say, the professor didn't expect that. Not me, but one of my good friends. She went to the Royal Military College of Canada, where they wear their uniforms and there are often tourists visiting the campus. Apparently, it was completely normal to be waylaid by tourists looking to have their photos taken with students in uniform that all they had to say when they walked in late was tourists and the professors would let it slide. She always wondered how many family photos she was actually in over her time spent there. Me. My bus hit a bird and the whole windshield was cracked. We had to wait for another bus to pick us up. Story time. I was the only high schooler on our school bus one winter. The other detail important to this story is that we had the oldest model bus that wasn't in the best mechanical shape. It had one of those mechanically operated doors. It would shoot out a plume of black smoke every time it started and just looked much less fancy than all the other buses the school had. Anyway, one winter it was so cold that the diesel engine stopped working. The bus driver said the cold made the diesel in the fuel lines gel up. I have no idea if that's accurate, but either way the bus rolled and start. Fortunately we were only 5 miles from the school and all the kids had been picked up already. So they just radioed another, newer, bus to loop back around and pick us up. The bus driver had radioed the elementary school but completely forgot to let the high school know. So I show up to class and the teacher asks why I was late. I said, the cold caused the fuel lines to gel up in the school bus repeating exactly what the bus driver told us. But I was the only high schooler on that bus so no other students were there to back up my story. The teacher didn't believe me and instead of just calling the main office to verify my story she mocked me in front of the whole class saying it's not possible for fuel to freeze in the cold. And everyone in the class agreed with her saying that I was a bad liar and laughed at how dumb my story was. Ultimately the office did let her know about the bus after she tried giving me a detention. But the embarrassment is still there and she never gave me an apology. Colon. Not a teacher, but a friend said his house blew away. Apparently. Tornado. Not a teacher, but I was training a new hire at a job and the guy came in 45 minutes late stating he got halfway to work and realized he didn't have shoes on. It was winter and like 15 f degrees outside. This was me as a student. My parents thought I get president's day off, so they didn't wake me up flock of wild turkeys in the road. Not always school, but this happened more than once in my life. For those of you who have never found yourselves in this situation, there is no way out of it. Wild turkeys will move when they damn well decide to do so, and only th. Literally today, child missed my first hour class, note said car accident on the way to school, and would be coming late. Kid comes for second hour. Has pictures on his phone of the roll of her accident. WTF. Kid. Go home. Rest. Take care of yourself. Edit. I have another one. Although this one happened to a classmate. When we were in college training to be teachers. She missed a really important class. Came for just the last 10 minutes or so. Because her neighbor knocked on her door. While in active labor asking for help a little. While before she was supposed to leave for class. Classmate walked back to neighbor's house with Brigo neighbor and delivered her baby in the living room while on the phone to 911. Paramedics came and mom and baby were fine, but classmate needed to go home and shower slash change first because she was covered in blood. Taught a group of seniors first period. It was towards the end of the year. I had a class of around 30 and only 5 were there when the bell rang. Halfway through class the rest of them show up. 
they went out to crack a barrel for breakfast, and brought me some back. All was for Jiv. I had a teacher who showed up about halfway through the class. Apparently her car had slid in tense snowstorm the night before, and she had walked the last mile or so. A kid missed my first period class one morning, but was in school later that day, when I asked him why he hadn't arrived in time for my course. He said his cow was birthing its calf that morning, so head picked, being in the barn over English, made sense to me. His essays weren't going to win any ribbons at the county fair, but his calf could. I was the student. When I was in college I opened my front door to CS, W, A, T, teams and the agents outside of my house. The one who looked at me was holding some kind of R. I went back inside. From what I heard, there was a multiple sting operation that happened around my town and my neighbor's place got raided. I missed half of my classes that day. I'm a teacher but this happened when I was a student. Does it count? In high school a kid came late to history class. He was a joker so when someone asked him where he had been, he goes I was kidnapped. Everyone laughed until he goes no really. Turns out two guys kidnapped him and tossed him into the back of the minivan he was using for his morning paper route. They drove him around while they robbed something. I can't remember what happens after. I think they just drove the van somewhere and got away. My car got hit by lightning. It did in the school parking lot. Her tires were melted to the pavement. She had to go out and deal with the tow truck slash call her parents slash etc. It was pretty dramatic. When I was in college, my psych professor told us that the only excuse for being late was a funeral procession. Any other reason, you won't be allowed to come in. A few weeks into the semester, I was headed from one building to another, which involved crossing the main road. Lo and behold, there was one very long funeral procession going by. I got a short video of it as proof, then stood on the sidewalk to let it go by. Unfortunately, the procession made me 5 minutes late to class. I knocked on the door, and the professor came over to start to tell me off. I showed her the video. Well I'll be damned. Monim. Eh. Obligatory not a teacher, but I'm an admin at a music school. I had a mom frantically call me and let me know her daughter would probably be late or miss their guitar lesson in a couple hours cause she couldn't find the kid. I was just kind of like oh, okay. Well I will let her teacher know. Got another call about an hour later from the same mom. She found her kid, but apparently the daughter went to a friend's house and decided to dye her hair green. They lived pretty close by, so I did let them know they could still come in for their lesson. Mom said she would call me back and let me know in a minute or two. Never called back. Her daughter showed up for her lesson about 5 minutes late with this bright green coiffure. I got her admit it looked rad as frick, but also kind of a confusing thing to be an audience to the build up. Edit, thank you for the award, it's my first one, D. Not a teacher, but I was hit by a car on my bike to uni and my prof was more than understanding as to why I was late. My best friend at the time was doing a carer's job in preparation to later do nursing. He lived a train ride away at the time, but it was okay because work was 5 minutes from the train station. Some owns jumped in front of his train as it was approaching the station. Every own stuck on the train whilst it's established if the person can be saved and if it's a crime scene on the tracks. Hours later he gets into work a little cheesed off, but apologizes and promptly finds out it was one of the patients who had made him late for work. It was a semi-secure hospital for adults with dementia. Edit, I missed the teacher's part oops. One of my organ students told me he was late arriving for his lesson because he got stuck behind a lengthy funeral procession en route to the cemetery. I knew he was telling the truth because I had played the organ for the service earlier that morning and the church was packed. My best story ever. I taught in a hardcore inner city school. My student comes in at 10.30. I was like, dude, where were you? Oh, my bus was late. Yeah, no. Why would your bus be 3 hours late? Well miss, there was a drive-by shooting. OMG are you okay? Someone shot at the bus. No ma'am, a kid shot a gun out of the bus. We got pulled over. The cops had to search everyone. The kid with the gun was literally the last kid to be searched. True story, you can't make this shoot up. Kindergarten teacher. 
One of my students is just a very very heavy sleeper. They often arrive late and miss our first class. After nap time, they will remain asleep, no matter what we do. Music, tilting the bed slightly, asking them questions, even gently standing them up, nothing. Most children can't help a cheeky grin or something when they don't want to wake up, but we get absolutely no response from this little one until they naturally wakes up. Nothing medical, just sleeps like a rock. Not school, but I got robbed at gunpoint and my car stolen the previous night, and was talking to cops slash detectives until the early hours of the morning. But being the dedicated corporate slave I'm I showed up, to work the next day, albeit an hour or so late. Even in public accounting they understood, and even said you know this is clearly an appropriate reason, to not come into work right. Looking back, I probably should've taken that day off. If anything this made my co-workers think him some crazy person for just brushing the whole incident off as no big deal, and coming into work.